coming past the eighth ball. It's Ruffian in front by seven lengths. Something regal on the outside, second point in time. The other's now far back, and Ruffian draws away to lead by nine. It's Ruffian in front and going easily. Hello, it's Bob Pandolfo. Welcome to another edition of Power Pace with Pandy. And it's uh, Wednesday, May 15, 2024. Going to look at some of the uh, top three-year-olds according to the buyer figures. Um, very interesting uh, board here. Now, here's the leaderboard on uh, Daily Racing Forum's uh, website of three-year-old males and females and their best buyer figure. So let's just, let's just run them down a little bit because it's kind, of, it's kind of interesting. I mean, there's a few horses on here that haven't been out in a while. So we start out with Fierceness. Now we know that he's run the fastest so far, but he was pretty much a flop in the Kentucky Derby, and he's very inconsistent. You look at Nysos. Now Nysos is a horse that Baffert has. That he, This horse might possibly be the best of all of them. He's undefeated in three starts. He ran a 105 back in February, going a mile, but he has, a, they claim a minor injury, so right now he's out of training. Um, now, look at a couple of horses here from, from last year. Prince of Monaco was a horse that started his career. This is another one in the Baffert Barn. And Prince of Monaco, now I'm, I'm, I'm on the, the website Horse Racing Nation. You can look at pretty much all the uh, horses there if you just you know search on their name. So you can see that this horse won the best pal, the Delmar Futurity. So he was three for three, his first three lifetime starts. Then he went into the juvenile. And ever since then, he hasn't been seen. But he did work on May 13th. So Baffert has him back in training. This is a horse by Spitestown. Um, nicely bred horse, of course. You know, I mean, not that Baffert has horses that aren't well bred. But this is a horse that could make some noise if he can get him, you know, get him back for uh, Saratoga or uh, Delmar meet, and hopefully, you know, get him into something like maybe the, maybe the Breeders' Cup. I mean, this is a talented horse. Um, another horse that we haven't seen in a while is Locked. Now, Locked is in the Pletcher Barn, and this horse won a Breeders' Futurity race at Keeneland back in in um, October. So he won two out of his first three starts, and then he ran well in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile, and he hasn't been seen. And unfortunately, he's out with an injury. So here's a note off the Derby Trail with a frayed ligament injury. So that's unfortunate because that's another horse that looks like he has a lot of potential. Blocked. Now, you know, some of these other horses that have run, um, like Raging Torrent, is a horse that ran it for Doug O'Neill. He ran seven furlongs and earned a 104. And you know, he's lightly raced. Mind Frame is, is a horse that's now two for two. He's in the Pletcher Barn. He ran very fast in his debut at, at uh, Gulfstream in March. So these horses, you know, hopefully they'll keep developing. At this point, they're, they're sprinters, but they, they they ran very fast early, you know, in their careers. Mystic Dan, we know he's going to be in a Preakness. He won the Derby. Tapolo is another one of these horses uh, that ran very fast, or, you know, early in his in his career. Um, now he did run well in the Santa Anita Derby. This horse was in the Santa Anita De Derby, Tapolo, and he came out of that race to go to to earn this figure of 101. So that's why I was saying that in the Preakness uh, this coming Saturday. Baffert's horse um, finished second in the Santa Anita Derby, but two horses came out of that race to win. Um, and one of them is Tapolo, who went seven furlongs in, in fast time. So uh, Baffert's horse, um, let's just go back to my, my picks for the Preakness. I wasn't really going to talk about back and source, but it just it reminded me. So, yeah, so, so Imagination, you, you know, just missed in uh, the San Anita Derby. And this horse, Tapolo, came out of that race to run a fast race. So 
you know, like I was saying on, on my Preakness analysis, maybe Imagination uh, Santa Anita Derby race was better than you know a lot of people think. Um, Speakeasy is another horse that ran fast. Now, this horse uh, went seven furlongs for Pletcher, went a fast race, but he's another horse that you know hasn't raced much. So you have a lot of these horses that have only raced once or twice. Nisos raced three times. Few of them have run fast sprints. So if these horses could come back in training, you know, we, this just, the summer races could be looking pretty exciting. Forever Young, we know, uh, ran a very big race. I think I thought Forever Young went, ran the best race of any three-year-old this year in the Derby when he finished third because he was interfered in that race by Sierra Leone, who was banging into him. You know, Sierra Leone has that bad habit of bearing in. But Sierra Leone and Forever Young, both are two, you know, very talented three-year-olds who, you know, if they stay healthy, they could have very good careers as older horses if they don't, you know, just retire them to, to you know, stud service. Forever Young knows back in Japan, and I doubt we're going to see him again this, you know, this year. I mean, hopefully he'll come back for the Breeders' Cup, but, you know, we don't really know. And, and they're going to rest him up now, but he's a terrific horse, and Forever Young is... Uh, he was, I think he was, he was undefeated in five starts coming into the Derby. He ran a big race in the Derby. And Sierra Leone ran a very game race too, although he did impede Forever Young. And uh, he was lucky that he didn't get disqualified. Uh, Muth, as we know, would have been a heavy favorite in Preakness. Uh, he has a good figure of 98 going a mile and an eighth. Uh, he hasn't done anything wrong. I, I think he's probably one of the top three-year-olds, but he got sick this week. He had a fever, so now he's scratched. Drip is another horse that only ran once. He ran a fast six furlongs in his debut at Fairgrounds, ran a 98. Ballos has run twice now. This is another horse that looks like a really good sprinter. Some of these horses, if they keep them sprinting, they could be really dynamite sprinters. Like this horse, Ballos, I think is a potential grade one sprinter. He, he ran very fast in his debut. Then he came back and I think he finished third in the grade two stakes race in his second start. And that was for Doug O'Neill. Catching Freedom, we know he's a consistent horse. He's a nice closer. He'll be in the um, the uh, Preakness. So, you know, the, the problem is you have you have some really you know fast horses, but a few of them aren't racing. Nisos is is hurt. Um, Muth just you know got scratched sick. So we'll, we'll see. Mind Frame only has one. You know, for a couple, a couple of these horses only have one or two starts. Mind frame is two for two, though, for Pletcher, and I, I really like that horse. Um, so we'll see. Another horse, like I mentioned, Locked is another horse. I mean, who knows if he's ever going to race. Um, so far, Niso's fierceness and, and mind frame, to me, look like horses with a lot of potential. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry. Uh, Nisos, Mind Frame, and Forever Young. Fierceness is fast tossed by. He's just no. He's not that consistent. He's probably he's probably more like a sprint or miler anyway. Nisos, if you ever if they you know if they get it get the source back healthy again, I think this horse has a tremendous amount of ability. Uh, Mind Frame impressed me um, in his first two starts. Uh, Forever Young, I think, is an outstanding horse. And, uh, you know, a couple of horses that I mentioned, I think, could be really good horses that, that haven't raced for a while, like Locked, you know, who I showed there. And Prince of Monaco is another horse that Baffert has. So we'll see. That's just a quick look at the, um, the top speed figures by three-year-olds. And hopefully the ones that haven't been racing will come back and, you know, will have some big races during the summer and then later in the year uh, for the championship races. So anyway, thanks for listening. Remember, if you... Uh, like, click on the like button. You'll find out when I have more videos. And if you and I'd like, you know, I'd appreciate if you subscribe. I appreciate you watching my videos. And um, good luck for, to everyone. And uh, let's enjoy the Preakness and all the big races coming up.